Hey guys, in this video, we will discuss one JavaScript function that will find the number which appears most in a given array of integers. So, for example, we have one array with few numbers and you can see number 2 is maximum time repeating in this particular array. Okay, so we will create a function that will return which number is repeated maximum times in this array. Okay, so let's start creating our function. All right, so let's go to JavaScript. Okay, find max number. For example, you can give name whatever you want, and we will create ES6 arrow function. Our array should be this given array. We will also test with some modifications. All right, console.log find max number and as argument we will give this array okay now in function body we will pass array as an argument okay so first of all we will create one loop but actually this loop will do let me show you let i is equal to 0 i less than 10 and i plus plus so we are creating one loop with 0 to 9 10 times and we are pushing that 0 number of zeros you can say 10 times in one specific you can say variable okay so control ctr is a control variable ctr dot push and what we will push we will push 0 okay and before using it let's initialize that let control is equal to empty array all right so now let's lock this ctr variable you can see now we have 10 zeros in one array okay we need this for our another loop again we will use loop let i is equal to 0 you can use j k whatever you want okay j or k so i less than array dot length i plus plus that is standard for loop in this loop what we are going to do we are taking array of i minus 1 as one array and passing that value to our control variable and we will use it as an increment variable so if you log this you can see okay, now you can see here 3 so using this loop what we are going to do we are pushing each and every um, subtraction in this control variable okay so let me remove this log Okay, in this for loop, what we can do, we can simply write down one condition. If CTR of the same array of i minus 1 greater than, let's check with one another variable. We will initialize that answer variable here. Okay, let answer is equal to 0. So it will be a number. So I am initializing that variable as 0. So if control array i array of i minus 1 is greater than control of answer, then we will update value answer is equal to array of i minus 1. Okay, now let's log this value answer. And we are getting one okay but that is not correct what we have to do now we have to return answer plus one because we are using here as subtract minus one then as a result we want to add this plus one and now we can see the correct result number two okay now let's make some changes so here let me remove number two so now it should return number 1. 
correct it is returning number one all right let's make other changes as well 22 22 again 22 22 then we should get 22 okay now one two three four let's make another change 22 as well now we should get 22 as our answer but we are not getting 22 because there is some correction needed okay let's see that again control empty variable answer is equal to 0 let this is fine let i is equal to 0 i less than array dot length i plus plus control of array of i minus 1 that is fine we are incrementing this control if control of array i minus 1 okay is greater than control of answer then answer is equal to array of i minus 1 okay okay it seems fine to me and return answer plus 1 okay i think this is not working because we have more than 10 elements see we have taken up to loop a loop up to 10 elements we can make it up to 100 and now we can see the result is correct okay. now 22 is 1 2 3 4 5 5 times so we are getting 22 okay so we don't need to um, look through 100 times we can keep it 40 times okay and to make it correct we can do dot length as well okay length plus one okay array dot length no we can't we can't do that because uh, we need exact amount of numbers here or we can give 40 yeah so we need to make sure that this number is higher so we can um, use this control variable to push all the required values okay i think that's all for this video guys if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question or any suggestion you can leave your questions below the comment box and thanks for watching